Okay, where was the... There was a healing spot out here. Um, I don't remember where the hell it was, though. I'd love to hit it up, though. I have fucking eight health to refill. Also, I haven't been over here. Yeah, I have. Never mind. There's a path I know I haven't gone yet. I think it's over here on the right, actually. How's my oh, shit. I have plenty of mind. Never mind. We're good. Never mind. I didn't realize I had that much mind. We're good. I haven't been over here yet. Yeah, yeah, I didn't check this. What's this? What's in here? Heal spot? Do you have the god's coat of arms yet? I can't say I do. Don't know how to get that, but thank you for the fucking... Do you have the thing? No? You suck. Alright, well anyway, we got the crossbow. So we're gonna head back to, uh... Well, we're gonna head back, alright, into oblivion. You know what? Even though I died there, this is where I wanted to go anyways. I'm a little sad that I lost all my health, but this is where I wanted to be, so it's fine. So I needed, I needed the crossbow to proceed up the mountain. I probably needed the grapple hook too, to climb up higher. So anyway, here we go. Up the mountain we started at. If we can get there. If we may proceed there. See, now I can grapple hook up here. Easy enough. And then I can grapple hook up here. Easy enough. Yo, we're at the top. Is it boss fight time? Maybe not yet. Do you have the God's Coat of Arms yet? I mean, no. The last guy asked me the same thing. Oh. <laughs> you can't just drop off of there, idiot. That was dumb. Oh, my God. Wait, where did this... This is like the beginning of the game spot. Wow, that's fun. <sighs> that's fine. Whatever. Oh, it's fine. Ride out some extra health, hopefully. Fine. I don't even know how to use the crossbow. I assume it's situational, like the grapple hook is. Can I climb up there? I totally can. Oh, but it won't let me actually go up. Never mind. Thought I was going to be cool and be able to just skip shit, but no. Dude, why'd you turn around? Bastard. All it says is to look for tree stumps. Okay, fair enough. I think I seen one earlier on this area somewhere. That was a dead end, I forgot. Forgot that was a dead end. Do, 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 do. Ooh, yay, health. I wanted that health. Thank you for it. Give me more health. I would love it. Give me more health. I would love it. Okay, I can, I can grapple hook up here. So I can get up to this other rope that's over here. I've not been over here yet. For sure. Okay. What have we here? Welcome. Take a rest. Hell yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Seems like every area has one of those. You just have to be able to get to it. In this case, I needed the grapple hook deep and get there. So That works for me, dog. Now I have full health. I feel happy about that. Let's try not to squander it, eh? No promises. Oh god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't need that. The one time I don't need it. I don't remember where that one dude was like, you need the crossbow to proceed. Must have been more to the right over here. Because what I'm imagining is the crossbow is going to make a grapple hook spot so I can grapple hook across somewhere. That's what I'm imagining. Was it this guy who said that? That wasn't this guy. If you dare approach Garbuff out of the top of this blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. 
I'm trying to remember where that dude who said that was. The crossbow to proceed guy. I think he was up higher. I just don't... It must be over here. It was definitely somewhere I was able to get to without needing to uh, use anything special to climb up to him. So it might be up here. Maybe just up over here. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, it was this one. It was this one. It was this one. Here you go. It was this one. From this point, you can't go on without a crossbow. Yes, yes, we have that now. So... Aha! There you go. Confirmed. Proceeding. So it does make zip lines. Makes sense. Makes sense why the crossbow is third. Oh look, these guys are here. My favorite boys. Been a long time since you played this game, X Gamer. Well, well, first of all, welcome in. And uh, I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. Not too shabby. I have played this before a little bit, but I have not been this far. This is definitely past where I left off. When I tried this game before. Yo, this castle's epic as fuck, yo. Listen to that music. It's terrifying. I kind of love it. Very ominous. Look at this guy. YOLOing! YOLOing! Wow, I really did YOLO the shit out of him. That was nice. I didn't think that would actually work, but... Made it past him. Get YOLO'd, son. Another one? Cool. Man. Man, how are you supposed to fight something like this? It just gives you a wall of flames. Like, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to have to go heal, because I'm not going to fight this dude with only three fucking health. Damn it. I wish it was a quick walk back to the healing guy, but it's not exactly the quickest walk. Let's see, the healing guy. I climbed up here, and he was like, Do you have the coat of arms yet? That's where they said that. You remember a decent strategy for this kind of enemy? Well, let's see how I handle it. That's fair, X Gamer. Don't really want a tip yet. I was just like, if it's, like, it just seems unfair almost. Oh, fuck me. I forgot the duck. It's like, I don't think I can hit his. I don't think I can hit his his, his shots. So unless one of my magic spells can help me here, which I guess is possible, but I need to grind out some stupid mind power to do that. I wish they would put that heal thing closer to the damn entrance. What I might do is make a save point so I don't have to fucking walk back every time. Because I will walk back every time to heal. And I'm like, I don't want to have to do that every time. Fuck that, man. Fuck that noise. I will absolutely do it. But this is why save states are nice. Especially in a game like this that has infinite continues, I don't feel bad about making little checkpoints like that. Like, it doesn't hurt. It just saves us time. Like, there's an infinite reheal spot I have to walk back to every time? Like, nah, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to see me do that. Alright, I gotta climb back up. Hold on. But let me get back to the damn castle and I'll make my save point there. Oh, come on. Luckily, I bounced off of him because that was garbage. 
Ooh, shook it. Barely, but shook it. Damn it. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Dag nabbit. Whatever, we only took one hit. Hopefully that's all we'll take. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll make our save here. It's our first save state of the game. Let's see if we can get good at fighting this fucking slug monster thing so I don't have to go heal every time. Cause I kinda YOLO'd it last time. Wait, oh, it stayed dead? It stayed dead. I didn't realize it stayed dead. Well, that's good. It is like a boss then. Well, that's nice. I thought I was gonna have to fight them both again. I guess if I kill this one, then he'll stay dead too. I mean, this is basically what I did to the first boss of the game. Just jump through his little fucking hoops and smack him once, but like... Really gotta... Woo! That was nice. I did it without even getting hit. That was nice. Fuck, we have to find another one. Of course we do. Way too long to jump, damn it. How am I not hitting him? Fuck you, buddy! Ah, I went YOLO. I shouldn't have went YOLO. That was dumb. That was dumb. So, the fucker stays dead, though, right? If they stay dead, then I'm not going to use my save state. I was going to do that, but it's like, I don't want to refight the second one if I don't have to. Should I might go heal again and try this again? Fuck, boy. I'm pretty sure I could do this without getting hit. I just I just showed that I can with that, that snail I killed a minute ago. Just got to get into a rhythm. Oh, he respawned. Boo. So the first one doesn't respawn, but the second one does. Okay, so the so the second one respawned. All right. Well, then I am gonna use my save state. I wasn't gonna. I did not load a save state. Thank you very much, X Gamer. I did not load it. He did not respawn because I loaded it. I did not load it. You saw because I had three health. I did not load it. Now I loaded it, so I know he'll be back. But he was not back because I loaded it. In case you, in case you didn't. Pay attention. <sighs> Fuck. I got knocked back, of course. <laughs> that was fucked up. That's fucked up. I got knocked back and it respawned him. That was fucked up. Alright. Let's do this. So here's the question, X Gamer. Is this the strategy you were thinking of to fight him, or do you have a better one? Damn it. Fucking. Yours is better, in your opinion? Does it involve going behind him? Because I was also trying. I was thinking I would try that. If I bum rush his ass. Hmm, that would that didn't really go well. I will we'll flat out say that the that did not go well. I'm trying to think of a way to fight this guy differently than what I'm doing. Because <sighs> you could bounce off their back, which I understand, but like, 
you can't really stay there because they'll just keep shooting flames. And they'll only shoot it toward where you're at at the moment. And I don't really have any other attacks, and ducking won't duck me under the flame. Gotta utilize my, uh, my iframes. Utilize those iframes, boy. Kind of lame that they make you fight multiple of these guys in a row. Oh man, I missed my chance. Man. <sighs> Gotta do better on the first one. Gotta utilize those iframes when I do get hit though. Because I can just wail on them for a moment there. Ah. God, I was one hit away, too. One fucking hit away. They just pin you up against the wall. I don't understand. Can I hit the flame? Like, I need to try. If I can hit the flame, these boss fights are way easier than I'm giving them credit for, but I don't think I can hit the flame. I gotta try something. Feels like I don't hit, I can't hit it, because if I was able to, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can't hit the flame. You can't duck under it. I don't know, man. Like, if I could do that and I could actually hit him while I was doing that, I would do it. But I'm like, I don't know what else to try. My only other thought is to try and like build up my magic and try a spell. I just don't f power up or attack and assail. I don't even know what attack and assail does. Do the are the spells in the uh, in the manual, Omega DJ? Somebody listening? Are the spells in the manual? Because if they're in the manual, you can tell me what they do. I would assume the spells are in the manual. Got hit when I have one more hit left, man. It's so annoying. Come on. Margin for error of getting hit here is very low. Fuck! And then I do that shit. Ooh, that's super annoying. I'd be better off just making sure I get hits in at the beginning. It's hilarious that these snails respawn. Kind of annoying, actually. Okay. Do we have to fight more snails? It's gonna be really salty if I have to fight another one. What the fuck are you? Here's the question though. Even though the snails have respawned probably, or put it this way, I bet you the second snail respawned, but will the snail with the rope respawn also? Because if he does, that's annoying. Something tells me this one will have respawned for sure. But not this one? 
Yay! Okay, so that one doesn't respawn. Nice. I can easily run past that middle one then. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's give this fight a try then. It's kind of like the spider, but just don't let it drop on your head. I, I think I, I, I can kind of acknowledge this fight. It's not too bad. Damn it, don't let it drop on your head, I said. Idiota. Now I'm assuming that guy stays dead. Also, I got another health one, like another level up. So I got another health bar. Holy shit. Getting health like crazy, dog. Okay, what the fuck are you? I might have tried a little YOLO action on it. It didn't work. Okay. So, okay. I might go back and heal right now, but let me see if I can go straight to that boss. If I can go through all this without fighting any of the other bosses and just have to go straight to that boss, I will definitely go heal. And then we'll uh, we'll give this another go. All right, so you do look up the spells. Thank you. Power of spell will increase the length and speed of your disc armor. Just one casting of spell will last you for the entire game. It never wears off. You only have to do it if you continue. Oh. Wow. Really? Wow. That's cool. I didn't realize it lasted forever. Okay. Note. Good note on the power of spell. Thank you. So one time cast needed. That's kind of cool, actually. That is pretty cool. I didn't. I wouldn't have guessed that. That's cool. The assail one is the more interesting one to me. What does that one do? Attack and assail. All right. So the enemies stay dead. I'm gonna go heal after this attempt if I lose. Because this looks like it's probably the final boss of this place. And he does three damage per hit. Cool. Attack and assail. This spell allows you to assault all enemies on the screen, regardless of the location. Every time you swing the disc armor, it lasts for 10 swings. So it hits every enemy on the screen. Okay. That's pretty cool. So power up is worth using every time you can use it. Good to know. I've used it a couple times accidentally. But now I know it's worth using in general, so good to know. Alright, let's head back to the heal guy one more time. Uh, yeah, down here. Down here. Oh god. Ran right into the damn turtle. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, bro. And recovery, I already know, yes, it heals you, which, thank you for confirming. Anyway, you're back. I might see you manage to get to the area's boss before dying, could try nonetheless. I mean, I'm able to get to the final boss now, on, in the place, so... The, the, t the double snail fight was kind of trash. I did find out you don't even have to fight the middle snail at all, so that's nice to know. Well, if I would have realized that earlier, that I wouldn't have to fight him at all, I wouldn't even have bothered. Damn it. Damn it. Kind of tempted to grind out enough MP to use power up. wonder how much MP it costs if you actually cast it. I think it's only like three or four. Well, I got one of my health back, so that's good. Could grind it out till I get the last one back too. That'd be probably advisable. Go in there with full health against this dude. Because with if I go in there with full health, he has to hit me four times to kill me instead of three. I didn't mean to go in here. Anyway, would you say this game is like a overall fair difficulty, X Gamer, or is there some bullshit that's coming up? You don't have to tell me, like, when it's coming up, but I'm just curious on, like, the difficulty scale where this game gets to. Because up to this point, it's been mostly fair. Some of the patterns on these boss fights have been kind of meh. I'm actually going to make my save here again, just because I don't have, so I don't have to walk through this fucking place. I'm going to actually make the save right before the fight, just because I don't want to have to walk through this place over and over again. I can easily walk through here without getting hit, it's not a problem. There are some bullshit moments? Okay, fair enough. I 
I'm actually quite curious how hard this boss fight's actually going to be now that I can take a couple hits before I die. Alright, I'm going to make my save here so I don't have to walk through this bullshit again. Alright, let's give it a go. I actually hit the dude. I kind of YOLO. You know what? I'm kind of see. I'm I'm actually quite curious if I could tank it. You know what I mean? Just stand on top of him and go a shit. I wonder how well I'd be able to tank it. Like we can give it a shot. I was just trying to see if I could. It doesn't even fucking move, so... Alright. It's gonna take a lot of hits. I kinda wish I did get the power up now, because... Damn, he's gonna take a lot of hits if I don't have it. And this overall doesn't seem like a crazy pattern to, like, deal with. It just seems so random when he's gonna shoot. That's the only problem I have with this fight right now. Like, what is the pattern here? Damn, I got fucking clipped. I feel like I hit him way more when I YOLO'd. Did I get double hit or something? Because I got hella damage. I feel like I should be able to survive three hits before dying. I only got hit three times and I died, though. Does he, does he do more damage when you run into him versus when he shoots you? Because that's something I'm not 100% sure on. But yeah, I'm tempted to go back and grind out some MP to get that power up just to kill him a little bit faster. That's probably... And then acknowledgeably... Oh. Okay! Didn't know I could fall back down the pit. That was cool. Love that. Okay. Yeah, it's like the hitbox on this guy is a little weird. I'm not sure where the exact spot to hit him, but when he flashes, I know I hit him at least. Ah, dicks. I gotta understand how long my my iframes last for. Clip by a fireball is no bueno, man. Fucking shit, man. Does it do like three and a half hearts of damage? Is that what it is? Because like right now I have eight, right? Well, actually, I should come in here with full health. Wow. See, like different things do different damage here. That's what it is. That is what it is. Fuck, I got clipped again, motherfucker. Alright, I'm kind of tempted to go get MP and or make sure I have full health, because this is uh, getting kind of annoying. Alright, I'm going to go get MP, fuck this. Wait, can I go back? Oh, I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. There's no ladder. Oh, it won't let me go back. That is kind of booty. I just realized that there was no, there's no fucking, the rope went away. This 
see, this is what I'm talking about with, like, with NES, though. It's like, they do this kind of shit where it's like, I don't know when this fucker's gonna shoot. It seems like there's long lulls where he doesn't shoot at all. And then he shoots, like, four times in a row, and then he'll just shoot once. It's like, there's no, there's no discernible pattern here. It's just random, it feels like. Like, see, he shot... Wow. Cool. I'm really glad I could fall immediately. Um... Like, he shot right away that time. He doesn't always shoot right away. Like, what the hell, man? Be consistent. You piece of trash. I don't know why I keep YOLOing. That's so dumb. It never works. It's never going to work. So stop doing it. The hell? I, like glitched his heads out there. Probably paused it. That was weird. I wonder if there's like a way I can finagle his bullets to just keep firing up in the air. If I keep jumping, like maybe jumping will just save me. It was kind of working, but damn, sometimes he just decides to shoot like three or four times in a row, and it's like, wow, that's, uh, that's fair. I have no way of knowing when he's going to follow up with another shot, and that's why this is trash. I don't understand the hitbox on this guy either. That's another problem I'm having. It's like sometimes I hit him in his face immediately. Sometimes I don't know when, the, where the hell I'm supposed to hit him. See what I mean? What discern the fact that he was gonna shoot two more times there? Like, there's no way to know. It's random. It sucks. This sucks. Ah, it's too random. This sucks. Like standing at a certain distance, you could be safe for a pretty prolonged amount of time. But as soon as you start shooting flames at you, shit is over. See, like, how come none of this is hitting him? See what I mean? This doesn't make sense. This doesn't hit him at all. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I think I'll, I might just take an L, go heal, and try to get enough M M MP while I'm doing that. Because I would like to get the power-up ability if I could. That'd be great. Like be able to cast my power-up spell so I have a little bit more strength for this. Because maybe he'll die a little easier, you know? Oh my god. Because the hitbox on that is trash. Hitbox on that is trash. The pattern on it is trash. A lot about that is just trash. So whatever. Thanks for spawning in my face as I was passing by. Thanks for dropping a rock on my head, man. These guys are just... 
so good at being trolly at as F. It's okay. I'm more concerned about getting MP right now. I want MP. All the MP, please. I will. I'm gonna grind out all these motherfucking enemies till they drop enough MP for a power up spell. Drop some fucking stars. There's one. Drop some fucking stars, bro. So I have one right now? Okay. Not exactly sure I know how many I need, but I'm hoping it's only like four. Alright, we have full health. I really want to go into there with full health. That'd be an also helpful thing. To have nine hits. That'd be great. the health right now, but I'd love some stars. Stars. Come on, y'all. Give me that. Man, now they're dropping health like crazy when I want stars. Come on, man. I haven't found any yet. Okay. Let's make sure I didn't grab one I didn't realize I grabbed, you know? There's one. That's two. I'll try to cast a spell at three, but I don't. I think it's going to take at least four. The freaking health thing I can't use. Cool. Come on, give me. Give daddy what he wants. Give daddy what he needs. Give me daddy what he likes. Alright, power spell. Cost three. Okay, cool. We, we casted it. So now we should be even stronger. Shit, my attack goes even faster. Man, it goes super fast even when I just press it. Like, that's pretty fast for me pressing it. I'm not even using the turbo button there. Is there any reason for me to grind out more? You know what? There is. You know what? There is. Because if I have a heal spell, I could make this even better. I just thought about that. If I have a heal spell for the fight, that'd be amazing. You know what? That's, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to grind out for a heal spell. I don't know why I didn't think of that already. Fucking, what do you ha what do you do when you need it? Maybe if I had an E tank, uh, or you could just use your heal spell that exists, and then I'll just make a checkpoint before the boss. So I don't have to grind this out again with full health, full health, the power up spell I already casted, and a recover spell in my pocket. That would be amazing. Thank you for confirming power up is three, but I already used it, so thank you. I'm up to four now. I'm pretty sure I need at least seven for the heal spell, so we're gonna keep on going until I'm there. All right, that's five. I need two more. Come on, daddy. Two more hearts, or stars. Okay, one more, one more. Don't make me wait long, video game. This is a nice spot because it just keeps spawning them. Alright, cool. It'd be even cooler if I just got another random level up, but these enemies are pretty weak, so I'm assuming I'm getting less experience points for killing these guys over and over again. I mean, even at some point, I feel like they might not even give you anything if they're the weak-ass enemies. I don't know. That's just a guess. It's not a for sure thing. Alright, now I gotta get past this part without getting hit. That would be great. These fucking flying guys can eat ass forever. Alright, go, go, go. Don't you drop that rock on my head, boy. Okay. Make it to the place. Okay, cool. I'm going to make my save here in case the stupid snail pisses me off. I don't really want to deal with his shit, but I can easily run past him, which I'm going to do. 
All right, we have a heal spot in my a heal spot a heal spell in my pocket. I got full health. I got the power spell already casted. We should be good to do some damage. I'm hoping so. See, this would this was probably the smarter move to do from the very beginning, because holy shit, man, having more power. Who knows how many hits I'll take? I'm kind of tempted to yellow the first attempts. But I'm in, I'm gonna make my safe state here, so I don't have to do any grinding again. I'm kind of tempted to YOLO just to see how the power up spell like helps me. Ah, oh, wow! Of course, he immediately kicks off with that shit. <laughs> I was able to YOLO him. Nice, even with the first couple hits that were wasted. That was nice. <laughs> Play this instrument atop the Tower of Lyle. Mwah-ah-ah! I didn't even have to use my heal spell in my pocket. Nice. Which I'm actually tempted to use right now, because otherwise I'm going to die, probably. I don't mind using it. Alright, cool. So now we have this. I don't know what that does. Played at the top of the Tower of Lyle is all I got out of that, but... Another key item. Or I should say it's our first key item, really. Yeah, all the rest of the stuff we've been getting is equipment. I would say that's our first actual key item. I wonder if the coat of arms is the other big key item we'll pick up in this game. I did mention the god's coat of arms. I'd very much like to start refilling my, my MP bar if I could. My mind bullets. Okay, so we got that. That's exciting. Um, it didn't open up anything new, but we have other areas we've already been. We have We weren't able, or I didn't, I shouldn't say I wasn't able, but I didn't actually finish like exploring in the 100%. Um, Tower of Lyle. I don't know where the Tower of Lyle is, but we're done here in this area, I imagine, so we can get the fuck out of here. Just gotta remember how to get out of here. I think it's down below over here. What the fuck kind of glitchy shit was that? Trying to climb down. Dude, climb down. The hell, man. You trying to get me killed, Rygar? How dare you? Where is that exit at? Is it? Uh, might be down further, actually. The exit. Oh, it's right up here to the right, I think. I'm trying to remember how to get the heck out this level, man. I need to get back out into the world map. There it is. That's my exit right there. I'm kind of glad they don't give you any enemies to fight when you're nearby the dang pits. That's nice. Okay. Back out to the world to adventure! Nice heal pickup immediately. I like that. All right, so where haven't I been yet? I know there's that island thing that I can probably go to now. In fact, maybe we should start with that since I know about it and I have the grapple or the crossbow now. I should start with that probably, huh? Yeah, probably. We'll start with that. So there was an island, remember, and I like fell in the water immediately, so I didn't get to like acknowledge it at all. But I think there was a grapple hook spot there. For the air, like for the crossbow that I could use to make it a grapple hook spot. But I gotta work my way over there. It's gonna take a minute. But we'll be there in a minute. We just gotta not fall in the water on the way. The Karate Kid game can learn a thing or two about this. About not respawning enemies near pits. I know, right? Fucking Karate Kid game. That game was... That game was frustrating, to say the least. Mainly because of, uh... Um... The up is jump thing. Which... We talked about it earlier, and maybe next time I play a game where up is jump, I will make the controls different. I will remap it and see if it actually helps. I do have a lot more face buttons I can fucking around with here, so I can make jump a third button, you know? Uh, we already did this area, right? I'm pretty sure we did. That's where we got the... Um, you can probably jump over this. No? I just want to go past the door. Thank you. Um, what was I going to say? 
Oh. Uh. Man, I lost train my train of thought. But I can have a third face button instead of having it up. Because up doesn't do things on a lot of NES games anyways, unless it's the jump button. Like, in this game, it makes sense because you can go all four directions, but, like, not a lot of NES games have it that way. Is this another... Was this another area I explored? No. You can see the palace of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember how came. I think he said something about the island. I forgot the name of the palace, but... Yeah, see, we went here, but then we just, like, fell. I didn't even... Uh, okay, apparently I cannot use this grapple hook th or the crossbow yet there. I wonder why. Maybe it's something for later? There is a rock over there. Maybe the rock is the problem. I also wonder where this goes, because we haven't been over here. Don't be a dead end. Please. Take me somewhere new, daddy. But I will, I will uh, maintain that I think I am next time we have an up is jump game on NES. I will fix that shit and see if it helps. I oh, fuck off with this. God, I hate that. I just wanted to zip line across, man. I just wanted to zip line across. I don't even know where that was at. I don't even know if I was in a new place. Or if I was fucking circling around somewhere I've already been. Like, I have no idea where the hell I was just at. That's annoying as hell, though. Like, was I up over here, maybe? Let me double check what was up here. Was it just a dead end with a door that, with a dude that said a thing? And I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't remember. Yeah, that's what it was. Fuck. Well, now I'm even more annoyed because there could have been something over there and I missed it because the stupid grapple hooked and hook onto the damn fucking... Ugh, so annoying. The zip line didn't hook, man. It didn't hook, man! Frustration. I'm filled with rage. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't this... This zip line down here we used to get across. I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise it loops around in a place that I didn't realize it looped around. But I don't think so. I think this was a different spot. Just gotta wait till you hear that clink. So what was up this way? Did I acknowledge what was up here? Or did this just lead around to where the island was at too and I'm just dumb? If it is, I'll take an L and reset. Oh, I lost my power-up thing, too. I'm going to have to cast my power-up spell again. I have to remember that. Okay, so this just... Okay, so it did just loop around. I'm dumb. Okay, fine. Take the L. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Okay, so we don't need to go that way right now until we figure out how to deal with getting over there. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, my goal right now is to get to that one door over here, wherever the hell it was, that lets you heal. There's definitely a heal spot over here somewhere. Click, clink. Gotta find it. I want to say it was up either north of... I think it was north in this screen right here. Cool, we're gonna die. That's dope. Love that. Love that. getting hit by everything. That's what we needed. Just what daddy needed. Getting hit by every fucking enemy so I can just get there with no health. That'd be dope. Oh my god. Fuck off. Killing guy better be right up here. God damn it. Nope. It's the next screen over. I know it was I know it was at the north side of the screen, I remember that. Better be right the fuck here. It's better be you, sir. I need the heals badly. Yay! Thank you. You're the best. You're the best ball daddy a daddy could a boy could ask for. star. I want that. 
I'd like my MP back, please. Alright, um... I don't remember where that one area I was at before where I was like, I'm not gonna go here, it's too hard. I think this might have been it. But I think... Let's let's give this area a shot again, because I did, I did dip out pretty quickly last time. How much MP do I have right now? Just one. I'd love to cast my... How dare you spawn on top of me? What just happened there? Oh shit, I got a... I did get a star thing. Let's put my power-up thing on then. Yeah, this area was a little bit crazy with the enemies. Just like, there's so many of them. I'd like to pick up the star, please. Thank you. Just gotta remember I can bounce off of enemies' heads, man. It's helpful. Yo, I need that. Oof, I didn't get hit. Thank God. God, those fuckers should just drop boulders right on your fucking head. They don't give a fuck. Wow, I'm just taking extra hits. Just taking extra hits. Taking them to the dome. God, this area wrecked my shit. How much hearts did I... Or health things did I pick up? Not enough. We made it to a new screen, so that's cool. With new music, also cool. Really wish I was going to have time to pick that up, but I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Nope. Uh, I might as well check up here first. Smart. Probably going to be like, you, what are you missing a thing? You need the grappling to continue past Lapis. Well, I assume this is the right place. If this is Lapis, I have the grappling, so let's do this. Lapis don't scare me none. I got grapple. I got crossbow. Uh, ah, tricky. Tricky, tricky. You motherfucker. I don't know what that fucker was, but I didn't like him. From this point, you can't go on without crossbow. Yeah, I know. Thank you, though. Holy shit. Okay. Crossbow. Progress. So you need grapple and crossbow for this part. Noted. Yeah, I was like, hopefully for these platforming parts, you don't throw any enemies at me. Yay! Fight! 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 Fight? Fight. Okay. Fight? Does he want me to fight him? That was a terrible choice. That was poor choices. Did they just put me back at the beginning of the game? Absolutely, just put me back at the beginning of the fucking game. Okay. Noted. I don't know what fight, fight, fight stood for, but fuck you, how about that? Man, that sucks. Whatever. I deserve that, I suppose. I never did try to, like, jump into the pit in one of those rooms. Yeah, I still get to keep everything. It just... I guess when you die there, it just respawns you back at the beginning of the game. Like, when you die inside of a tower, or a room, or whatever. In one of those bald man rooms, if you die, it respawns you at the beginning of the game. Duly noted. Don't do that again. You will have regret. Much regret. The good thing is, it's not, like... A ridiculous thing to think I could get back there, you know? I'm just annoyed that I have to. But I feel like I deserve that, so whatever. And I don't have a good save state to go back to even if I wanted to, so it's fine. I'm annoyed, but I can live with it. It's fine. Hopefully this will give me an opportunity to, like, build up my MP again for a minute. Grab that, thank you. Or you can build up my HP again if these fuckers will actually drop potions. That'd be cool. That'd be neat. It's like when I need it, they don't wanna. 
so I just despawn those turtles. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight shot to the exit if you just go straight straight through here. Don't climb anywhere and get all confused. And then I just gotta make it across the map again over to where I was just at. Fun. I just don't know what it wanted me to do with that room that said fight, fight, fight. Was I supposed to do something in that room? Like, I don't have any projectiles to shoot at him or anything. So it's like, if I have to fight him, I don't know how I would do so. Or if he's just saying that because he's a dick. And he's just telling me I need to fight, fight, fight. Like he's a fucking cheerleader. Oh, Lord, I need my ball, all, all cheerleader. He is always there when I need her. Oh, I have to go over one more screen. Right? Wait. Or was it right here? Or was it right here? Alright. Take a rest. Tell me what you see. Give me free health, I'll take it. Damn it. He booped me, man. It hurted. I'm gonna look around some more. I know that's where I know where this area goes now, so it's like, let me look around a little more. I even turn my power thing on. Okay, so there's nothing that goes up there. I haven't really looked around everywhere out here yet. Oh god. Damn it. Booped me again, you fuck. See here's a door. I don't think I ever went in this door. In fact, this is the only other door there is, so let's check it out. Where does it go? It's 2 a.m. and time for the monsters to awaken. Mm, okay. <laughs> what you said. Is he trying to, like, threaten me? He's like, it's 2 a.m. It's time for the monsters. Can we get in the door, please? What the fuck? Anyway, you're having a lot of fun with Tunic. This game was a pleasant surprise. I know, right, Sparty? The game was... I like. I, I enjoyed it immediately, and then once I like uncovered more and more of the game, I was like, man, this is just really fucking clever and fun. What a fun game. I want that. I did cast my power-up spell, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm about to cast the damn heal spell right now, jeez. I won't cast it until I'm about to die. Which I'm pretty close to doing right now. Do it now before you waste your potential to get MP back. Oh my god, he dropped the thing on my head as soon as I used it. What a fuck. Can I keep going here? Nothing here, okay. Just did the mechanical spider boss. Got some item you don't know what it does, as usual. Yep, that's how Tunic goes. You get stuff that you don't know what it does. And I think, you know, in some games that's frustrating, right? Like, what the fuck does this thing do? What, do, what am I going to need this for? But then, when you play a game like that, it's like, you're actually excited like to figure out what it does. Because that's kind of the point of the game. You just you have to discover what the things do. And I think, for that game in particular, it's just really well done. I applaud Tunic for everything that it is. Anyway, I know what to do here. I didn't mean to go right into the door. So I'm assuming there's nowhere else for me to go like above here, right? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Grab a look across me. And across me. The guy that says fight, fight, fight. I wonder if I just not fight, something will happen. Is there something past this? This is just the end of the line. And he says fight, fight, fight. What if I just go like this forever? I'm fighting. Look at me fight. I'm a fighter. Okay, what if I don't fight? What if I just stand here? I refuse to fight. Just stand here. Don't even move. You can't make me fight. Unless I have to, like, use the spell, attack and assail, to actually hit everything on the screen, which... Oh, maybe if I play this... 
How do I play this thing? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can go up from here. I mean, what if I just stand here and not fight? You think something will happen? 